So guys, recently I have posted a full review of this Infinix Hot 7 Pro variant on my YouTube channel. And after that, uh, Infinix has sent me this uh, Infinix Hot 7. So this is not a Pro variant and today in this video, I'm going to do a full review of it. And let's see what is the difference between Infinix Hot 7 Pro and this Infinix Hot 7. So hey, what's up guys, my name is Zaheer and this is a full review of this Infinix Hot 7. Let's begin. First of all guys, let me tell you that both the phones are similar in terms of looks and design. The back of the both the phones is metal and surrounded by the plastic so they can get better reception and uh, network. So that's a great thing and the build quality is pretty strong. Not a bad thing at all. And the phone looks a little bit dated in my opinion because it's 2019 and it has a similar design and as a Redmi Note 5 Pro head so yeah that's there. And when we move to the front side we have this huge notch and then we have this 6.2 inches of a HD plus display that's an IPS display Vivian angles colors saturation of the display is pretty good but the brightness could be a little bit better as per my opinion we have the similar camera on both the phones that 13 plus 2 megapixel on the front as well as on the rear so the primary sensor can take pretty good pictures in the daylighting situation as you see over here and you can take some pretty good pictures in the low lighting situation too but the pictures are not that great but it's pretty average in my opinion on front it has dual front facing camera and the primary sensor of that camera is uh, 13 megapixel and the quality from the front facing camera is pretty good too basically it's the same sensor that infinix hot 7 pro had if the selfies are exactly similar of that infinix hot 7 pros and these are some of the sample which i've took from this and the cameras of these phones are pretty average so don't expect the miracles over here and you can shoot 1080p videos from the front as well as from the back cameras so yeah that's all about the Cameras, now let's move to the performance. Here's a big difference lies. So the big difference of these two phones are the processor because this Infinix Hot 7 has the, the Helio P25 chip and this one has the Helio P22 chip. So both the processors are octa-core. P25 had a faster frequency, but the P25 built on 16 nanometer technology and the P22 built on 12 nanometer technology. So this one is more efficient as compared to this one, but I feel that even though this is a pro variant, but I feel that this one is little bit faster than this phone. So yeah, that's there. By the way, this one has only 4 GB of RAM and this one has 6 GB. But uh, even after that, uh, the performance of this phone is, I feel better than the Hot 7 Pro. And in terms of the RAM management, both devices are pretty great. No complaints about that. So yeah, that's a performance. And then we move to the battery. Both the phone packs 4000 mAh battery and as I've told you this one has 12 nanometer chipset and the chipset of this phone is 16 nanometer. So the battery life of the Pro is better of course but this one also has a pretty good battery life. Uh, basically one and a half days is possible with this phone but when you like use it very extensively then you will get a full day battery life that's great and uh, this one takes around two and a half hours to completely charge with the charger that they have provided in the box so that's great now talking about the software but the phone has same xos i'm not a fan of it it has ads it's not that good it's not very well optimized so yeah that's that both the phone i can accept dual 4g sims as well as a dedicated micro sd card slot is also present over here so yeah no issues in terms of that and calling quality sound quality from the earpiece is pretty fantastic uh, i have not found any issues in terms of the calling quality or something like that and uh, talking about the sound quality from the speakers pretty decent they are not the best one that i've heard uh, only single speaker it has on the bottom let me play a clip so you can properly get the idea of how the speaker sounds of this phone by the way the microphone is right here so Here's how it sounds. So guys, as you heard, the quality of the speakers are pretty good. Uh, not the best one, but it's pretty decent in this price category. Then we have the fingerprint scanner on the back as well as you can use the front facing camera to use it as a face unlock. And the quality of the fingerprint scanner is pretty good as you see. Uh, it's quite accurate, but not that fast. I can say that the face unlock is not that fast, but uh, it's there and the fingerprint unlock is good enough in terms of my overall conclusion guys i can say that this one is a pretty good device you can do purchase it i will leave a link in the description box below from where you can buy this smartphone so that's all in this video guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did then hit that like button share this video with your friends who want to buy any smartphone in this price category thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye